Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living is Remembering Events. History shows, history shows that we memorialize certain events, dates, and people. We've memorialized the events of September 11, 2001. But there are other important life-shaping, history-changing events that we should also remember. Let's remember that God created heaven and earth, and God breathed, God breathed life into man. Let's remember that Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, in their disobedience, caused sin to enter the world, beginning the fall of man to sin. Let's remember that God looked at what he had created and saw the wickedness of man, thus flooded the earth, yet preserved Noah and his family. Let's remember the deliverance of the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt following ten plagues. The exodus, the exodus commemorated in the Passover is a historical event. The Israelites were saved by God from Egypt. God instructed the Israelites to kill a lamb and place its blood around their doorframe as protection from the plague of death. That night they ate the lamb in preparation for their march from Egypt. The innocent lamb came to represent Jesus Christ some 1,500 years later. Let's remember Jesus' birth, life, death, and resurrection. God sent himself in the form of man through Jesus. He came to redeem the world of sin and reconcile all mankind to God. Jesus' victory over sin, death, and Satan demonstrated God's grace, mercy, and love for man. Let's remember your birth date. This is the date that you came through, through your mother, for God's purpose here on earth. You came from God through your mother. God has known you from the beginning of time before he created the earth. Let's remember your spiritual birthday. You surrendered your will to the lordship of Jesus Christ. You received the gift of salvation and the gift of righteousness in Christ Jesus. You acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life and believe Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Let's remember we are accepted, loved, and that Jesus' blood on the cross redeemed all mankind so that they can be restored back into fellowship with God. Kingdom living is remembering you are a child of God. You're a spirit being made in God's image and likeness with the Holy Spirit living in the believer. Amen and amen.